<laughs> Gonna no do that. Oh, just gonna no. Full of stinking hun. Jogs away. <laughs> Look up there, everybody. The sky's full of hun. Or st stinking hun. Can I help you? Oh, hey. oh, sorry. Just using your mirror there. I'm rehearsing for a part. I'm up for it today. It's got to be great. It's a big old sting. Well, can I get you something? Hey, Roger Wilco. Hey, a pie and a Paris bun. And yours? Hey, a bottle of water, please, as well. Pie's at three o'clock. <laughs> scarf. My sister made the scarf. Just to make it look like wind. <laughs> Harris Buns just put it over the channel. Hey, have you any tart? Hey, strawberry. Hey, dear friends. Hey, a strawberry tart. You villiers? The boss are getting it in the net. Yes, Ronald Villiers. You're yes. late. Late, right. Ta 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 ta. Jokes away. Jokes away. Driver, I was only kidding him on. You might get half with him. <laughs> right, come on. No go all day. Half. Your loyalty Thank card. You. Thanks very much. <laughs> Do come again. Thank you. Bye right. bye now. Do you have a loyalty card, sir? Eh, no, I don't know. Right. <laughs> Twenty quid. Come on. Right, beat it. There were unprecedented scenes at Kirkcaldy Sheriff Court today where the jury heard the case of Dunn versus McLean. Both men had been arrested on Saturday afternoon at a science fiction convention and remanded in custody until this morning. Dunn told the court McLean provoked the unsavoury incident by calling him a big, fat, daft Klingon dobber. 
It is at this point the argument appears to have become more heated. McLean spoke of the cardboard nature of the doors in the Starship Enterprise, while Dunn pointed out several major plot inconsistencies in the film Star Wars The Phantom Menace. The jury held that the fracas could have become much more serious were it not broken up by the unknown man who answers this police photo fit description. In summing up, Justice Cleland described the incident as lamentable and felt that witnesses giving evidence in such ridiculous costumes cheapened his courtroom. <laughs> he fined both men and ordered them to do 72 hours of Blake 7. Jeremy Black, Kirkcaldy Sheriff Court. Look, I'm not going to beat about the bush with you. We've had reports that you've been working while you're claiming benefit. Nah, no, I said. That's no, that's no. no. We've not been working for at least five, maybe uh, six uh, uh, months. Years. Uh, six years. Aye. So, how do you explain these? I'll give you a mad jacket, man. <laughs> so you're not going to get a hair me a day now, are you? <laughs> that's no, that's no. That's, no. <laughs> that's, that's a charity gig, that man. It's charity. Ah, yeah. charity. The charity stuff. The homers. Homers for, for charity. Don't get paid, no. no. So are you saying that that's now you and our surveillance photos? No, admittedly, it looks a bit like us, but... Aye, but who does not That's right. <laughs> I mean, all job seekers look like us. Aye, you know like, you know, a million mad wee peas in a pod, you know? I mean, you, you couldn't accuse us of having a go at the system. We would never, you know... <laughs> aye, Miss McLaughlin, aye. Um, aye, no, that's it. No, that's as cheap as it gets, sweetheart, no. You've got that plaster, mark. <laughs> yes, mother. I will see you a week on Monday, right enough. I love you too. Right, I've heard enough. I'm stopping the door, money. Oh, f for what? Ah, oh, don't start with her, man. We don't have to take that off of her, man. We're good, honest, law-abiding citizens. Aye, no, I mean, accusing us of doing that, man. Stick your money up your jumper, aye, man. Aye, you Nazi cow. Aye, <laughs> man, it's bad for her, man. Tired of being just a face in the crowd? Then call Queer Hawks. Yes, fellow deviants are only a phone call away. If you're well healed or just well oiled, we've got everything from fruits in suits to hags in fangs. Millions of like minded weirdos are on the other end of the phone. So call 0898 Queer Hawks and we'll sit on your mouthpiece. Ooh. Hi, Mum, it's me. I am fine, I past the worst of the piles. And listen, Derek's taking such a shine to me now that I'm pregnant. Ah, he's become quite the perfectionist, taking photos of me always. Derek says that the female form is beautiful. Totally worships me, that man. So uh, he sent the negatives off to this laboratory in Amsterdam, <laughs> and they did these nice eight by tens. Well, we couldn't have sent them to Boots, could we? Because seemingly pregnant women can break Boots' development equipment and then I'd have to buy them £500. And I've not got £500, have I? Well, no, no, anyway, because I gave it to Derek's pal to set up the trust fund for the Wayne. Ah, he's away on holiday to Spain first and then he's going to set the trust fund up as soon as he comes back. Do you know, I just feel a wee bit sorry that I can't keep the Wayne, but... Well, see, because my surname's Carmichael, we wouldn't be able to get a birth certificate in Britain. Uh, it's something to do with the Millennium Dome. <laughs> but he, Derek, is due. He knows this American couple, and they're going to look after the rain for us. Imagine that, Mummy. My wee baby living in America. All we've got to do is send them £100 a month out of my disability, and they'll pay the rest. Uh, well, I just give the money to Derek, because it's him that's got the bank account. See, I can't get a bank account, can I, because of the Millennium Dome. <laughs> anyway, Mum, I better get back to my phone lines. Well, it's just a wee pocket money job that I've got. What happens is, all these different doctors phone up and I have to tell them what's going on with my bits and pieces, seeing I'm pregnant, you know? Look, it's no trouble at all, really, because they're never on the phone for more than a couple of minutes at a time. All right, then. Love you, too. Night-night, Mum. Night-night. Oh, my God, what a fright I got. What are you doing home at this time? They've fired me. They've let me go. 
I said finished. What? Now let me go. The mortgage. We're going to lose the house. The car will have to go by and yours. We're done. All the money we want on credit cards, we're finished. £50,000 a year. We're trashed. You're not trashed. I've still got my couple of days a week in the bakers. They're always asking me if I want to do an extra day. So I'll just do that. They don't even need to know about their financial problems. I'll just say to Jean to give me the Thursdays and, and we'll get by on that for the time being. Oh, and there's the savings book. Savings book? Aye, the deposit account I opened when I left the school. Let me see. A hundred and sixty-two thousand pounds. <laughs> what am I like? A hundred and sixty-two pounds. <laughs> well, look at that. My extra day to do this. I remember oh. how my heart sang right, right. when you asked to rendezvous. I spruced up the wind behind me at the thought of meeting you. When we finally met, I wondered why the scorn upon your brow. Then you said that you no longer cared. You fat deceitful bastard cow! <laughs> deceitful cow! <laughs> People's friend, eh? You're a woman of taste. Aye. I, I had a lovely article about Millport in it last week. You know, I was reading that myself. They had a two-for-one voucher in it for one of the lovely restaurants up there. Oh, maybe want to take a wee run up there myself, you know? Round up a pal, have a day by the sea. You know, I've always fancied hiring one of the bikes there and cycling round and round the island, the wind blowing in my hair. <laughs> oh, my. Not that I'll ever make it to Millport. Why is that? It's my heart. Angina. I'm on tablets. No excitement, the doctor said. No strain. And I'm on the top floor, so I can barely make it out the close anyway. So that's me, stuck in my wee flat, day after day. <laughs> so, just having another wee day to yourself then, eh? Wee cup of tea and read your magazine. All in your lonesome. Be watching the pigeons out your window. Eh? Aye. Or if I'm wanting to rave it up of one of the individual fruit trifles. <laughs> I don't suppose you stop them, do you? Listen. No, you, you probably not want to. What? Why don't I get two of those individual fruit trifles and come up with you and keep you company? What about the shop? To hell with the shop! <laughs> I'll just, I'll shut it for an hour. We, we could have a cup of tea and, and a gab. What do you say? Oh, and we could talk about Millport. Oh. Right. I'll get the keys. Oh. Oh. That voucher. I was speaking to your mother yesterday. I gather you've started masturbating. Well done. Right, have we booked up? 
I booked up away first thing Friday morning back Sunday night. Three nights without the ladies. <laughs> What's the uh, sleep arrangements? Uh, two beds, one camp bed. Oh, a camp bed. Well, one of us could bunk up with you. Right, but we're going to have to keep an eye on you. <laughs> you need to keep an eye on me. I need to keep an eye on you two. Can't bend down the shower with you two a bit. That's right, because when you bend down, I'll be right up you like a rap a drink. Aye, that wee pink ass of yours. <laughs> Right, that's it. I'm not gone. What? What's the matter with you? It's you two. You're giving me the fear. Shut up. We're only taking a piss. Come on, get us a pint. Aye, come on. Get us a pint. There's oh <laughs> a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, my darling. You didn't just marry me for my money, did you? <laughs> ah, there you are, good. Look, uh, sunset seeds and soil coats require a survey of their operation, and I'm afraid it's going to have to be done this Saturday. Wait. So... Fine. OK. Um <laughs> Sunset Seeds Shortcoats Survey Saturday. Eight months. Thank you. Hurry <laughs> <laughs> up, son, we're waiting on you. Right. Mum, I can't find my scarf. Well, did you try looking in the wardrobe? It's not there. Well, did you look in the cupboard? It's not there either. Well, did you ever look in the ottoman? <laughs> the ottoman. I ought to dust the ottoman. <laughs> oh, here, tell the maid my mink coat's in the ottoman. <laughs> See how the shepherd catches the ottoman. <laughs> I tell you about Janice and I the other night on the, on the couch, you know, just sitting talking, you know, the usual. And uh, she pipes up, she used to be a Highland dancer. Had they told me or anything? Huh? Medals, cups, everything, up and down the country, winning stuff, you know. So I says to her, right, well, show us. She's like, you know what she's like? No, 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 I forget all the steps. I'm like, come on, show us, show us, show us, show us, you know. Then she runs away up the loft, gets a box out, gets the old kilt out, all the rest of the uniform. Then she's in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, yeah, yeah, the whole time you're like that, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now for the night's main story again, interpreting for the Neds tonight and watching the wane for his sister, Rab McGlinchey. I don't know what the big deal is with these, man. Here, you're nothing but grief, Brittany, man. Here, take that. Shut up. Strathclyde Police announced today they're tracking a gang of counterfeiters believed to be operating in central Scotland. The five-strong cell are believed to be responsible for a number of forged banknotes. Aye, they did. Dodgy fivers, by the way. Oh, they're belters, man. And I've got wee metal bits and watermarks and pictures of Abbey Burns and Everton, man. Brittany gonna get a break, darling. Man, see, listen, the banks take these and Everton, man. Police are tracking them, but... Ah, uh, as far away as my first sight, but, you know what I mean? <laughs> Ooh, that's the thing. I got a dig the other day, man. Gave them a false Walked away with a pile of them. Stuffed in me Brittany's denim jacket, didn't I, darling? Didn't I? <laughs> Good night. See you later. What's the matter with you, man? <laughs> Still waiting a taxi for Brimpton Road. Here, Billy. How are you enjoying your first night out in the motor? Yeah, it's all right. Takes a bit of getting used to. Oh, don't worry. If you're having any problems, just radio me and I'll see you, all right? Can I give you a call, even if I'm feeling just a wee bit lonely? Ah, you can call me any time. Oh, aye. How would your boyfriend feel about that? <laughs> Week my boyfriend was lying on a beach in Esther T. And there was a helicopter hovering above him. 
Hi, Lord, had a glass eye. Spanish man is said to be sitting at a Spanish chocolate bar. Some of it must have went down the wrong way. Started to take off. And splutter. He was coughing and splattering so much that the glass eye fired out of the socket. <laughs> rolled in the side of the helicopter. Do any of you did you just know how much speed is gathered by a glass orb falling a thousand feet? <laughs> Do you know that it falls hard enough and fast enough to crash through a guy's skull and bury itself in four feet of sand underneath? <laughs> I know any guy. My boyfriend. My wee chico. <laughs> And the same one to be killed by a glass eye falling out of a helicopter. <laughs> just a jinx. Nobody would ever want to come near me again. Look, that's not true. It was terrible what happened to your boyfriend and that, but it gives me the chance to step in, you know what I mean? If you wanted, we could go for a curry or something on Friday night. Cheer you up a wee bit. Good. Let me get a pen and you can give me your phone number. Look, 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 face facts. As opposition spokesman, it's my duty to point out that under this present government, consumer confidence stands at an unprecedented all-time low. Mm -hmm. Industries in crisis, unemployment is rising, the standard of living is falling, tax levels are going through the roof, schools and hospitals are underfunded... And, uh... and the whole time you're like that. Excuse me. I'd like to buy this printer, please. Hey, bother my man, 78 99 But for an extra £9.69, you get a lifetime guarantee. Was it not guaranteed already? Well, only for six months, pal, you know, but, uh, well, this gives you complete peace of mind. It goes right. Bring it back. Our experts will fix it free of charge, £9.69. Complete <laughs> peace of mind. Well, is something likely to go wrong there? <laughs> 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 Tell them what we call this model. Boomerang. That's right, the boomerang mucker. It keeps on coming back. Never out the place. I'll tell you what, I'll take the cost of the insurance off the top of the price. Oh, jump in, compadre, by the way, because you're getting that for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you try and print something with a staple in it, homeboy, our experts will fix it. See, you're having a party. Somebody spills a drink on it. Ooh. Hot ink squats out the tap of it. We'll pay your laundry bills. Bus runs out of the tap of it, we'll replace it. We cover fire. Theft. Martian invasions. No, I don't want it. It's covered by my home contents insurance and I'll be changing my computer within the next five years. Can I please just have the printer? OK. I'm sorry about that. I just don't like being pressured, you know? No bother, bud. Can I have my printer? Sure. Catch! <laughs> Clumsy! <laughs> Free range eggs. These eggs have been laid by hens who have the run of a field and are fed in high quality grain ensuring ensure a healthy natural life. 89 pence. Yeah, it's quite good, isn't it? Aye. They're off a deer bit, aren't they? Oh, well. Barn fresh eggs. These eggs have been laid by hens who have the run of a barn. They are fed on high quality grain and live a healthy life. 79 pence. What about them? Mm, well, just eggs. Eh? Hey. Well, they're, they're just eggs. Aye, but what does it say on it? Eh, uh, these eggs have been laid by hens who are kept in dark little boxes 24 hours a day. Their legs are removed and their heads held with clamps. They are forced to listen to pipe music by Enya. If they don't lay 10 eggs a day, they are taken out, shot, chopped up and uh, fed to other hens. They're 59 pence. Just get them? Aye, they're <laughs> Emergency, which service do you require? Fire, police, or ambulance? Ah! <laughs> <sighs> Rare of the day, eh, Jack? Ah, it's lovely, <laughs> eh? 
Here, you know what I was thinking there? What? Well, there's, there's Charlie away now. Mm. Aye, and Andra two weeks before, I'm sure. Aye, aye. We've no mates left. No, it's, <laughs> it's just you and me, pal. Aye, aye. It's difficult, you know, at this age to start making new pals, you know. Nobody wants to make pals with people who are age. Oh, you know? it's hard to be sociable with you, who are age. Hello there. Hello. Hello. I haven't seen you boys about the park at all. Ach, no. We generally sit up there by the bandstand there, you know. Aye, aye, aye. It's a good park, you know. Aye, it is. Lovely. You're a local fella, are you? I'm that, yes, aye. My wife died back in August there, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry man. But I thought, oh, what the hell, I'm not going to let the world get me down, eh? That's the ticket. Quite right. Mm -hmm. Here, have you boys been to the Twilight Club yet? Twilight Club? No. Oh. It's that a boozers, is it? No, no. It's a it's a sort of social club for people our age, you know. Oh, sounds good. Aye. It's smashing. They've got on uh, Mondays and the Tuesdays there's uh, Meet the Neighbours night, you know. A bit of grub and a swally and that, you know. Wednesdays and Fridays, that's bingo. That's for the women mainly, you know. But the lads, they still put a line on as well, you see. Saturdays, they've got a turn on. Always a good turn to you, you know, no rubbish, you know. Sunday, you get a lovely big lunch. Aye. And they've got a picture on and all, and this big video screen that they've got there, you know. Big video screen, eh? You really should come along sometime. I think you should enjoy it. You know? I might follow you doing one day. We could do, aye. we could do, aye. 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 I think you'd enjoy it, you know. Well, listen, I, I better get on, eh? All right. Must be, well, it's nice seeing you anyway, boys, aye, eh? Aye, you aye, too. Aye, nice nice seeing yourself. You. Nice to meet you. See me on out. Frick. <laughs> yeah, some dear will be back shortly. Let you finished. Just the boot, Tony. Tin sweet corn. Oh no, eh, but there should be some in the freezer. Jesus! Ah! <laughs> oh, sweet corn, you're here. You've never even touched your trifle. Oh, well. Never mind, I'll, I'll go and put the kettle on and you can help me with my word search. Don't move. 